CPT JJ CPB Introduction, page 16, part 11. Code symbols, continued requests. Resequence. Resequence code. Means that they are not in the right sequence, but they, they have a resequence. They, they have moved to another place, right? So resequence codes that are not placed numerically are identified with a hashtag symbol. And a reference placed numerically, for example, the code is out of numerical sequence, C and uh, the, the ellipsis, right? Yes. As a navigational alert to direct the user to the location of the auto sequence code. Appendix N. Well, all this is saying is that sometimes there are new codes and they belong to a certain group, but there's no numbers to, to be given in that group. So they give it a number that is out of sequence and then they place it in the right place with a hashtag at the beginning. So you're gonna see that because the, the codes in the tabular are supposed to be in order. But you're gonna see numbers that are not in order, and that's why they have a hashtag. It means that this code belongs to this group, but there was no room to put it, so we gave it a number that is that is not in sequence with the other codes, but it belongs here. Okay? And if you go to the regular place, right, uh, there is a there is a, a a reference uh, or a, a cross reference that, that tells you go to this place that's where the code is okay that's all it's telling you in this theory now we're gonna do a problem so ready set go okay JJ RVA page 247 exercise 9 and this is a level 1 exercise and it's and it's consultation consultation let's read it now let's read the text evaluation and management an office consultation is performed for postmenopausal women for who, who is complaining of spotting in the past six months with right lower quadrant tenderness. A detailed history and physical examination were performed with a low complexity medical, de medical decision. So they're asking for the E and NM codes, so evaluation and management codes, right? So the, the, uh, the diagnosis of the patient is not important here, it's just what was done in the office. Okay, so we're going to count to three, and then you can pause the video and give us the CPT code for this uh, problem. One, two, three. Okay, the answer is 99243. Did you get that? If you got it, congratulations. If you didn't get it, let's give you a couple of tips. First tip. Start with consultation office. Okay, and the second tip. To find the code, there are keywords from the text. These are the keywords from the text, right? The the, there are four keywords. The first keyword is? Office consultation. This is a consultation in an office for a new or established patient. they all the same. So you find that section. The second one is? Detailed history. There's a detailed history. The third is? Detailed examination. There's a deta detailed physical or physical examination. And the fourth is? Decision making, low complexity. The decision making, the decision that was made has a low complexity. The, all these keywords are found in the text. So all you have to do is just isolate these three, these four keywords to find the code, right? Now, if you wonder what is spotting is, we have a, like a little cartoon that explains that, what is spotting is. So let's, let's watch a little bit of that. What does spotting during menopause mean? Make it bigger, please. It could mean you are in menopause. Your body hasn't quite given up on periods, but it is literally petering out down to spotting. Very funny. Could it mean I'm pregnant? That's rare, but it does happen. Or it means you've had a miscarriage. In menopause? I thought menopause meant that couldn't happen. Your odds of miscarriage go up in your 40s because your eggs are literally past their expiration date. The genetic damage they carry means they are almost incapable of creating new life. Now I feel old. Thanks a lot. Spotting during menopause is sometimes normal hormonal changes in the uterine lining. But if in doubt, talk to the doctor. At least I'm getting too old to have to take a pregnancy test. Yeah, menopause is a natural form of contraception. Okay. That's what spotting is. That, that's what the patient is going. It, although we don't need the actual, the actual diagnosis, but it's, it's good for you to know why is the patient there. 
right? But remember that this is just an E and M code. So we are doing evaluation and management, and the diagnosis is not really that important. It's just what was done in the office, right? So let's uh, go back to our problem. There you are. Now you have the tips, you have the answer. Now we're going to come to three so you can pause the video and give us the path. How we got to the answer. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, this is the summary of the whole problem. This is an evaluation and management uh, exercise. And it reads like this. An office consultation is performed for a postmenopausal woman who is complaining of spotting in the in past six months with right lower quadrant tenderness. A detailed history and physical examinations were performed with a low complexity de medical decision. Okay, so the code one is found like this. Code one. It's code here. one through the index first, right? Yes. First you go to index. Index. You start with consultation. Consultation. Then you go to office. Office. And oh. or other outpatient. Which is what we have here, right? Office consultation. So, okay. So we have this group of, of codes, right? From 41 to 45, right? Right. So we have to examine all of them. And remember the, the four keywords, right? Right. So what is the four one? Four one. Uh, first, you go to tabular. Uh huh. Then you go to nine nine two four one. Okay, so what's the four one? Office consultation. Problem focused history and examination and straightforward medical decision making. It's problem focused history. That's not what we have. We have a detailed history, so eliminate that. Four two. Four two is expanded problem. Expanded problems. We don't have that. Four three. Uh, four three is detailed history and examination. Low complexity. So th this is what we have, right? Detail history right here, and detail physical examination. It doesn't say detail, but but, but since, since since the detail is here, it, it this works for both of these, right? Detail history and detail physical examination were performed with a low complexity medical decision, low complexity. So this is our code, right? Right. Right here. Just in case we we're gonna do the the next one, which is the 44 is comprehensive. We don't have comprehensive, right? Mm -hmm. And 45 we don't have high complexity. So we go back. This means go back to 99 to 43, which is this one, which has the four keywords from our problem, right? So why that's why there's an equal sign right here, and the answer is 99243. Okay, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit our website, and also... And also you can subscribe to us on YouTube by clicking here for our new medical coding videos. Right, just click in the red rectangle and you will get... Oh, you will get up to three videos every day that we make. ICD-10, CBTs, all that's needed to pass the medical coding certification exams. So don't forget to visit our website and subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.